Good morning. It's a little after sunrise on a Saturday morning uh, and I'm out in the garage because where else would a guy be? Okay, those are good answers. Hunting, fishing, camping, uh, airing down at the beginning of a Jeep trail, all good answers. But today we're out in the garage. I'm going to get this all set up for plasma cutting and we're going to cut something out. But uh, while I'm doing that, why don't you take a look at the draw, uh, this video of me drawing it so you'll know what we're going to cut and we'll come back out and cut it out. So I've already okay, drawing the leash holder. So I've already drawn the file I cut, or I'm gonna cut, but I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough on recreating that. So in case you wanna create your own. So I think I started with a rectangle, something like that. And let's look at the font. That's the font I used. It's called Diuthi. You can use any font. That's just the one I picked. And make this a little bigger. Put this font on here. And let's difference it. Now the font is part of this overall path. You can see it's all one. The other thing I added to the drawing was a dog footprint. So dogprint.png. Download that on the internet for free. It's giant. So I'm going to print as highlighted. I'm going to lock the aspect ratio. And let's make this just two inches. And makes that a little better size. Maybe I'll make an inch and a half. And just for the fun of it, we'll rotate it a little bit. And we can do path, trace bitmap. Enter. So it traces a path right over. Oh, enter. Apply. It puts a path right over the top of your image. We don't need that anymore, so we can delete it. We've got this remaining dog print path. Shift. Click the rest of the path. Path. Difference. Going pretty quickly. Now, the bendable pieces of metal. I'm going to make that about, let's say, four inches tall. Uh, four inches tall by uh, unclick the locked aspect ratio. So now, say, three eighths of an inch wide. And I'm going to have two of those. So Control D to duplicate. So how big is this guy? Six and three quarters of an inch. So if I want to be, well, it's, it's roughly seven inches. So let's put these five inches apart. So that one's at two, minus two. This one's at three, I'll center them. That's five inches apart. I can highlight both of these guys, line and distribute, make sure they're at the same height. And then I'm going to object group them. And I'm going to highlight that and the path and align the centers so they're centered. Then I'm going to click little straps and ungroup them. And I'm going to shift the drawing. Wait a second. That's, just, no, that's right. And then path union. And I'll highlight the other strap. Shift and click the drawing. Path. Union, 
there you go. Now, biggest difference left, I mean, you can cut that out right there and you would have your, oh wait, um, holes to mount it. So, quarter inch holes. I'll make that quarter inch. Duplicate it. One. In this case, not exactly where I had them in the original drawing, but put one there just so the centered one here. If I highlight both of these and I say first selected and I make them all equal this way, so the heights, right? And I can click this guy, shift, click the whole drawing, path, difference. Click this guy, shift, click the whole drawing, path, difference. Now we've got mounting holes for screws. The only thing that we haven't done is fix this A because the center is going to drop out. So the easiest way to do that, I'm going to zoom in. And we're going to do this. We're going to put a point there, put a point here, and I'm going to highlight. So this one and that one, and delete the segment between them. And this one and this one, delete the segment between them. This guy, put it right there. Delete the segment between them. Then highlight these two. Add a segment between them. And same here. Add a segment between them. Now I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. I'll make that go a little more. And there we go. So we bridged that. If I want to add more of a gap here, I can highlight these, move them over a little bit. So there we go, bridged array. And that's it. Let's zoom out. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Sorry. So if you want to make this shape uh, more freeform, you can just drag parts around. You can drag this down like this and click on this segment and round it. And get whatever shape you want out of it. Maybe highlight these two and move them closer to the Dog paw. There you go. That's basically how I drew it. Don't forget to go back to your document properties and click resize the content. There you go. Back out to the garage. Let's do some more cutting. All right, I've been hustling. I almost broke a sweat trying to get this all set up before you guys got bored with Computer Guy and came back early. But we're all set up. I've got a piece of 16 gauge here. Uh, got the uh, Prime Mold Cut 60 set up at 30 amps, 55 pounds of air. And let's show you the settings on the drawing. And there's the drawing. Get you set right here. You can see what's going on. to get this thing cut. There 
go. So here's our leash holder. Um, very little dross. When you get your settings right on the plasma cutter, you can see there's very little dross left over. Pretty clean cut. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the flap disc to knock that off. Uh, I'm not going to get all the mill scale off because this will just get painted. But uh, let's do that real quick and then we'll bend her up and be ready for paint. You've seen me do this before, my little trick for bending these, but get the vice grip underneath the tab and put whatever size socket you think you need. This is a 32 millimeter, and let's see if I don't block the camera. I think you get the idea though. I wanted a bigger radius on the bend on this one because the leash handle might be stuck in here, so it might need to be bigger. There's one. I'll just do the other one. Same process. First the ratchet. Pretty much all that's left to do is maybe straighten that up a little bit. Anyway, all that's left to do is put some paint on it and we can hang that up on the wall and put a leash on it. Let me go get a leash and see how that works. Alright, so that's our leash holder and just to verify that it works, first time doing it on the camera so you can see if it actually works. So you just put this on the wall next to your door and hang your dog leashes and only say this word if you really mean it. If I say that word, my dog gets upset. Actually, my dog's already upset because I went and got a leash and didn't, didn't walk her. 
But uh, here you go. That's that's uh, the uh, dog leash project. Um, I'll put the files up on the store if you want to download it. Um, but go ahead and if you don't have it, get Inkscape and try drawing your own thing. Maybe put your dog's name or something. But um, you know, I'm, I, I'm hoping people will get something out of those walkthroughs. Um, but if not, you can always buy it from the store. Anyway, thanks for watching.